on this video we will show you how to create a live search. One example of a live search is, is found on the Amazon website. Here as you enter a character Yes, the drop-down box gets up to date with the most sold items. If you add another character, the drop-down gets updated. And this is called live search. It's a result of uh, every access to the server's database, to the Amazon server database. Web application is also a live search on a list of uh, computer programming pioneers. Here is the input screen. There's search, there's search box there. Here is when you type something there, you enter P, things start showing a box there. You decide to finish up the, the whole word there and you pick the the, the one that you, you, you feel like this is going to give you the result. And then as you pick that one, and this is the output screen. It shows the name of the programmer, the language that the, he or she has created, and then where short bios. The web application we access a database that will be created with the data from a, a flat file, a TXT file. And uh, we're going to make this database FTS, full text searchable. So let's start creating the application. So uh, we're going to do file, new, New file. Let me save as so I can set up the, the location there. Uh, save as. Again, document root directory. And make user on your URL. Right? Application. I go to my applications here. Go to my map. This guy here, htdocs. Go to spring 2020. And I'm going to create a folder here. Right. Uh, Uh, programmer uh, pioneer pioneers programmer pioneers okay and inside that I'm gonna save this file with the format of files and I call the same thing the programmer pioneers .html. all right so uh, someone else asked me, aren't you going to put the doc type there? All right. It's just uh, uh, telling the, the browser, now this is going to be an HTML5 or 4. Those are, the, the previous one are very long. The HTML5 is the shortest one that I, that, that I know of. It's just, uh, let me blow up this guy. I'll cap. Doc type. And then here HTML. We start to here. Most of browsers are just they 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 render the page no matter if you have or not the doc type, right? Uh, HTML had a title here. Right? Search. Oh, let's put it here live search. Uh, programmer. Programmer Pioneers. Something like that. Man. All right, head. Let's go to our body here. Let's repeat that one. H2. I have search. Control copy. Here. And let's put the word search here. And uh, our input element here input type text 
I'm gonna give it a name, right? Search txtbx uh, an ID. Same thing. Search txtbx. We're gonna out of fox this. Focus. Out of fox ID. Right. And let's put the size here because. Remember, we're going to uh, make this a uh, full text search so the person can type anything he wants. Né? Size here. Let's put about 50, 50 characters or 50 pixels. Né? We need to make this a live search on key app. And let's run that uh, jQuery. Using jQuery to connect to the database and update that uh, select element. And this here. And again, we're going to create two placeholders. Eh? The first placeholder is for, for the select there, né? div ID. Show select. Let's say show select. And uh, give some space also for this. And do the same thing for the result ID. Show result. Okay. Download uh, jQuery from Google. Google CDN. Yeah. Okay, we take from that host libraries here. Again, down the here. Yeah, take this one. The latest one. Eh? Control copy, and we're gonna put there. Here in Komodo, Control V. Let's give a space here. Well, now we're gonna run our own script here. Type this, and we run that function there. Run jQuery. First here, reading, reading, uh, um, input search text. Né? So far. I call input search. So how to read this guy here? Document get element by ID. We call the ID there search search txtbx, and we get the value. The person typed it there, so I'm not gonna just trim in case there's spaces there and so on. Okay, we got this thing. Well, the only validation we're gonna do is make sure that uh, if you don't type anything just stay there we don't even need to send an alarm and everything right but we need to do something here i'll tell you in a minute so if that this is just a validation a very simple validation input search if it is different from blank you type something there all right again you can even type a number flat or whatever you want to type in it we do things here else we have to clear let's Clear, clearing up uh, the placeholders. Okay. So we're gonna do here. Ah, oh, we don't need document. Can we have jQuery, right? So just to apply jQuery. Né? jQuery to the location there. The reference there is an ID, so it goes as a pound. If you was a class, you could have uh, have it the attribute class instead of ID. It would be a dot, right? We call the first one is show select, right? And here we're gonna do a text instead of HTML and make that blank. And we'll do the same thing for the dollar sign, uh, pound sign, pound sign, show result, dot text, same thing. All right, good. So here we go. So, uh, uh, again, I don't, I'm so used to the way this is done here. And then it uh, goes like this. What I'm going to do is bring everything inside of the, of the communication. Eh? This thing is here. It should be Control X and put over there. Eh? Control V. Let me get this here so you can see the whole. So if here put this, 
LLC. Okay. All right. So we are in business. Oh, here we go. Okay. So uh, let me bring this up here. Oh, yeah, no. And here is the success fund, right? And here, what I would do with the response. Good. Look on more tab here. And the A. Hello from server. Right? So we are, one more time here. Before, so here is set, set up the, the parameters for communication. Uh, the parameters uh, to communicate with server. So we got that, right? So we are here. Let me save this. Populate select. So we are communication is good. Everything's fine. The service up and running. So what you do here? Getting the passing variable. Right? Whatever the user type as a search in the search text box. So we're gonna get all this search text. Oh. And how to get? So you put the G here, square bracket, and the key there. What name of the key? We pass through this key called search key. So we call put here search key. That's it. We got them. Did we? Okay. No, never too too much of a debugging things here, because uh, one step at a time. Until you are so familiar that you're doing, you know, with your eyes closed. All right. So come here, here, so we type in any letter here, D, oh, we got D, G. So as you type it in, you are passing those things there, right? Okay, good. So we got that, so we don't need this, this was just debugging right? thing. Now we need to connect to the database, okay? So do we have a database? No, we don't. Okay, so let's get the database, right? We, we, Remember, the idea is not to work with the text file, but work with the database. Because huh? then you have the SQL, the wonderful SQL, right? The language. Okay. So, all right, right now. So we have that file. Let me put it back here. The file is like this. Let me blow up here so you can see it. So is that three fields only, or three columns, I should say. Name, language, bio. Name, then is rich the language is C and then a little bias and I'm gonna put where actually when I I, I, I dump the contents of the file into a database I'm gonna use PHP my admin uh, I can point to where this guy is anywhere right but just to keep everything in one place and also don't mess with this guy here my data here I'm gonna go back again to where I, I place those HMLs in PHP inside that folder here so I'm gonna here MAMP, uh, HT Docs, Spring 2020, Programmers Pioneer. I'm going to dump it there. I'll place there. Paste it. Good. Very nice. All right. So I can maybe close this. Now let's, let's uh, build our database or create our database. We're going to use the MAMP here. And I have here PHP my admin. Right, so let me go to PHP my admin. So let's create here a, a database. So database, create database, do it. Database name, same thing. Uh, programmer underscore pioneer. Pioneers. Let me put the word DB here. Programmer pioneers DB. So the database without a table is nothing. It just no, it doesn't mean anything. So let's put the table there. Uh, it's too the the database is, the name is too long. Let's say here. Uh, let's put here pioneers underscore table. Number of columns. Uh, if you go back there, is only uh, three columns, right? Name, language, and bio. But how about if you want a primary key, right? You add one one extra key there. Okay, let's do it. So I'm gonna put here four key, four columns. 
and uh, the first one is going to be our primary key as an ID. Int, I don't know, in thousands. How many pioneers? Let's say 10,000. Huh? Four. Uh, attribute, uh, go all the way to the right to index this and click there, primary. And AI here, all increment. Yeah, go. Click it, go there. Click there, check that auto increment. Okay, I did have a name, varchar of 100, name, language, varchar of 100, give a lot of space, and bio, varchar of uh, about the 3000, huh? a lot of characters, and that's it. Otherwise, it truncates. It's still show, but it truncates. So we got this here, bar char. And one word, that, let me repeat. If you want to make any field a full text searchable, the field must be bar char or string or char, right? That's the only, uh, uh, it's one of the requirements for, to make it FTS, full text searchable. We got this for things. One is all increment, right? So just save. And let's import now. Import from the the text file in a format of CSV because it's is really a separate by comma. So let's do here import. And here we go. Choose file. So go there where you will put the file there, right? Remember, I put there inside of. A, it can be anywhere actually. I go here to MAMP, HT Docs, Spring 2020, and uh, Programs Pioneer, and uh, that guy there, the TXT, choose. Now you look at the file and say here, uh, go all the way to the top. Do you want to work with this guy here? No, this is just inf information only. Right? So let's uh, say three columns. First column is name, and language, and bio, right? And again, I repeat it again that you should never delete this, okay? So, so we're gonna skip just one line from the top there. One line here. Foreign key, sure. And here, format here, use this guy here. CSV using load data. Using load data, and then it comes here and update this guy here, because uh, column separate, not to semicolon, it's comma, right? Columns and close double quote, no, we, don't, we did not do that. Column escape with the backslash, no, delete. Here's automatic. I'm not going to let the system to figure out this. I'm going to put the yeah, backslash in for a character return. Now it's important here, columns name. If you don't put anything, it import everything from the CSV, which we, we, we want that, except that now we have an extra field there, the all increment ID. So here I'm going to put explicitly which field I want to import. I want to import the name. Now I follow the database column's name, not the one it's there on that field there. See, capital N, language, capital L, and bio. So just input the name, the language, and bio. Use the local file here, they call local keyword, I don't know why, and then just go. We have a couple of warnings here that's contain, doesn't contain data for all columns. Line 12, ah, uh -uh. so import without my saving, because look at this, go to browse. Ah, before I do that, let me just see. Ah, here, look, uh, at the bottom here, look at this here, load the data. Let me blow up this game. Let me see if I can do it. Here. Yeah, look at the, the, the SQL. So if you are uh, at the prompt, the MySQL command prompt, you would type this guy here. Load the data local because uh, yeah, we gotta do that local there. So load the data local in file, the location where the file is. He gave that crazy name, but you would put it here, the real name for the thing. Into table, fields terminated by comma, line terminated by backslash, ignore one lines. And then here, the, the field that you want to import. That's the dial. Now this warning here is because of this browse. I, although I save, it still gave me the extra file, extra column there. I said 12, because it's only 11 records. We know nothing there, so just delete this guy. Uh, 
click here and delete it. yeah okay sure all right now you are fine now okay it doesn't show the whole thing here but when the display it shows the whole thing to make it this uh a full text search database database right so how to do this let's go to sql uh let me just show here before we go to sql structure you see there's just one key here saying this is a primary key good let's go to sql we're gonna do this guy here issue command here I say here alter table the name of the table pioneers table add full text one word add full text to a parent which fields all the var chars i didn't want to apply because it's an integer name language and bio semi cool go it returns zero because it's correct because if you go to the structure now look at those name has a key called index key and so on all the 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 fields that we 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 add the full text search it it, it gets an extra key here so here so we have our database yes it's searchable so on so connect to the database to the database right need to set up four parameters which are the server name ours local host then the user we're going to go as root the password for me here is going to be root and the database i'm connecting to programmer pioneers db and then just for minimize the number of type here i put the db table is that pioneer although it's not that big you know? pioneers <laughs> pioneers underscore table all right good okay sure first thing now we're gonna do is creating a connection a connection which means store the connection in a variable any name is fine uh, let's call it condb is a, a php function mysqli now you might uh, dash uh mysqli underscore that's what is this mysqli right underscore it's not help me i underscore all right never mind connect no now it helped me okay good so we're gonna dollar sign server dollar sign ah i always start saying things and then i jump the gun mysqli the i is because the newest version of, of, of php and the old version there, there was no i there so just mysql server uh just follow the, the order there user password database and then use the php that uh, can if it, if that first part of the command doesn't work it can display here either the error right? there's some command that display the error or just uh, some to tell you that uh, uh, no connection okay. oh. no connection and then semicolon now if you get connected always again go to have this guy here connected one thing at a time so you it's like a that's assuring yourself you know, that you, you are doing because next time you just say I, I know how to do it so get the page again and type something g connected okay good we're connect go back to php all right we're gonna connect now what we do we're gonna run an sql to select records that uh, satisfy some conditions there some conditions there so we're gonna do here right 
creating creating uh, a SQL select string to filter filter out uh, records. And then keep in mind that we know we are dealing with the full text search. You know? So we're going to do this thing here, dollar sign SQL select. And it goes like this, select, All right, select, let me see here. It's not the, the usual way that you do it. There's a different way here. So everything, select all everything from the dollar sign DB table, right? where match the name, the language, and the bio against in parent. Remember the search there is a is a string, so I'm gonna single quote. I'm gonna concatenate that. We can come down here. Concatenate that with dollar sign the variable there, search text. Move this up here. Search text. Search text. We're going to concatenate that and finish up. We are surrounded by search text with single quote. So double quote, single quote. And inside of the parentheses, you put here in natural language mode. Close the parentheses, double quote, and single here. This is by default. I just want to leave it there. So just to stand out there natural language mode it looks nice right okay so let me see here select that base match this against ah okay hold on a second this finish the double quote there's a double quote here and then i have a double quote here and then you concatenate that with this guy with the variable and then double quote here and the double quote there good all right so we have a select now what I do? Now what I do? We're gonna run this running above command. We are inside of PHP, right? You 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 if you are in a prompt, you just type this present, right? You get that straight, you know, the result straight. But when you run this, you put that into a variable results, and to run you use this this function PHP function. MySQLI underscore query in parentheses tells you put the connection there, the object, the link, dollar sign con db, and the string dollar sign SQL select. And you also can use the PHP die uh, query did not run. And if you run print query ram let's make sure get the page there type something f query ram okay good yeah doing good here okay you run this thing you might not have any record that match that right? all right results so the first thing is here, number of matched or matched records, eh? or matching records. So we're going to put here dollar sign number X. Again, PHP function, MySQLI underscore num of rows. Okay. Any parents results. And then we say here, if dollar sign the number of records is greater than zero, so you find a, a match in there. Now we can oh, we can do things here, right? Else, 
What do you do? You just send back print, no record or records found. And that's the end of it. Where am I end on oh, here? I thought I missed the end of PHP. No records found. Now, if there is a record that match that, that the, the search text and it found anything there on those columns, right? And then uh, we're going to do this. Let's do here start send select element to HTML, back to HTML. So print, you know how to do select, put an ID there. I call that ID not double quote, and the double quote I already have in the beginning. So the ID I'm going to put here scientist scientist uh, list capital L list list né? single quote on change we're gonna run this thing here get uh, just show info and close this and double quote and send this né? so print the first option there usually the first option is nothing and you just say here uh, make a selection né? Make a selection. We're going to do a little different. Uh, another thing here, I want just to emulate a little bit to the Amazon. We put here size, uh, size, let's say size. We only have 11, right? So let's say size 7. So you can do, really scroll down and show more things there. Huh? So it's not just one. Huh? You have to click the button there, the arrow, to open up the selectory. So when you, we show this, automatically seven, automatic show there, you can scroll. Right? Size seven, make a selection, and then uh, we close this here, option, and this, right? oh, this. Okay, so we did this, so we're gonna, now we, we print the first thing here. Now we're going to loop through. Loop it through the records. The records. Which we're going to put the records all contained in the variable dollar sign results. It's a complex. It's a complex uh, variable there. They put the whole, all the, you can get back hundreds and thousands of records. Is everything goes in one variable. Né? How to extract that? Now is the, is the next step now. So we're going to do while. We're going to create a variable here. When you extract that using this function that I'm going to type in, you extract as array. Array, array, each record become an array. So I'm going to call this variable record array. And this track is so here, MySQLI, MySQLI, underscore fetch, underscore array. And in parentheses, and in parentheses, dollar sign results. Okay. So you go and loop through the whole thing. And everything's post and, and every record becomes uh, that record array. So now it's fine. You know, you can do that like this. Um, extracting the table fields values. Yeah. Each one dollar sign. Let me put the word field here. Field name. The one that match now is part of the table. No field name is dollar sign record array. Which element? Remember that the array is a, now you, you are you are you are running this guy here. Select everything. So we, are, we have all the four fields: ID, name, language, and bio. We don't care about the ID, so element zero. So we care about the name would be element one here. Dollar sign field language. Let me simplify here. 
Feel, all right, let me. Language is dollar sign record array of two. And the by, right? Dollar sign field by is dollar sign record array element three. Now, I'm going to send the, the option back there to the HML. Important to know that uh, the value that I'm going to put is going to be what I need to, uh, uh, to show there on the result placeholder. So I, I'm going to show to the user the uh, what I want to show. So I'm going to show the user uh, the name, the comma, and the language. Option back to HTML. So I'm going to do a print option value value. You're going to go single quote, double quote, concatenate with dollar sign field bio or bio, bio, né? concatenate there with double quote, single quote, that's the value. We close this. That's the option. Now, what the user gonna see? I'm gonna concatenate with the dollar sign field name. Concatenate with the comma space and dollar sign field field language. Concatenate that with. Let me go here. And then concatenate, all right, put concatenate, double quote, and then close the option. All right. So option value, I surround the field B with this. Field B, field, field bio, né? and then field name. You like quarantine or quarantine? Yeah, <laughs> bio or bio. All right. So we're gonna option. So we did the option here. Uh, so that's it. Okay. What am I doing? So we don't need any more thing. So we finished the looping through all the records, the matching record. What do we do now? We we, we send the, the option now. Close it. So let's put a comment here, man. Send. Not send the option. Send the closing. Select. To HTML. So print, close, select. And that should do it. Let me just run and show you real quick here so I don't lose the. So we come here, uh, search uh, who created uh, C. Uh, make a selection, then Richard. Actually, I don't even need to make a selection. Then reach. Nothing happened here because I haven't worked on this guy here. So when you select on change, I have to do this guy here, right? Now, why the C there? Why Ramos Lerdorf PHP? Well, is a uh, somewhere there? There's a C there hanging there. Yeah. But you can see that the very first one is the real thing, right? So. There is a little bit of relevance being going uh, uh, is acting there. Let's finish up this with the show info here. Go to HTML here, right? So you display on the, on the div here the select. Don't change. You call a function, right? It's not a program. It's a function. So let's come here and here should be the end of the function there. So this here is put a comment here. End of run jQuery. So let's start another function here. Function show info. Show. Right? So this function here, I mean, I'm going to break up. The, look at this. Uh, reading. Uh, we got, it shows their name, comma, space, uh, language, right? Uh, reading, uh, name, language. I'm going to break up like so. Oh, look, var, um, 
name lang object like so uh, document dot get element by d and i put it here uh what is the name i think uh, uh, uh scientist list right yeah here's the idea scientist list so i'm gonna put here scientist list that's the object so now we're gonna do here to read the the the, the value né? so we say here var name lang now is the thing right now the value of this 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 guy here it give me this value here this value here is if bio you're passing this you this is what they use a c or sys and then uh, when you click on that you get the value which is the bio so i'm gonna go back here i'm gonna say var select bio is take the name lang object name lang name all right type object dot value all right i'm gonna display down there gonna say here uh let's display it uh, uh again uh, name language and a bio yeah. how to get the getting the name and the language var uh we're gonna put here name lang obj array you're gonna be this one name lang object dot options not array now this is just a, uh, a, a just a string you know the whole thing right name and language object the value né? the value of it not the, not the, the object value the, the way you've done it here but is what the user sees right object value is name object that options in parents uh name length object dot select the index and in here dot text now i get what i passed the first one is um uh, then is richer comma space c that's what i i i that's the, this is the value here so what i come here i will say all right good so what is the name var name we're gonna take that guy there name language value obj value dot split comma space and take element what zero and if our language we take the name length object the value which is the whole thing right we split it again oh, that split split comma space and take the element what one all right we got that now we can display the whole thing right? display all all the values in the placeholder or on the placeholder in the place placeholder or at the place on right. so how to display jquery dollar sign pound sign we call, we call show result so here they have show result show result and then here we're gonna do that html um we, we're gonna just say here uh, uh name and uh, right plus right this javascript plus and then the name right plus let's go to the next line there just twice 
right? And then uh, this, we're gonna do a plus here, a plus, come down here, name, um, language, language, plus language, plus BR, to break lines in there, and then plus uh, bio, plus, we call that select bio, right? Okay, and that should do it. All right, save that. Let's give it a shot. Pioneers. Ah, it's all right there. Como tab. All right, let's see here. Um, who uh, discovered? Uh, who discovered? Uh, uh, let's go. Uh, do we have C plus plus? C plus plus? No, no. Anyway, we back up this. Let me see. Lerdorf. Ah, Ramos Lerdorf. You click that. So Ramos Lerdorf and so on and so forth. 